Father in heaven, we come before you today and we intercede for the country of Liechtenstein. Almighty God, this is an amazingly beautiful country. Mountain peaks and rivers, amazing beauty that your hand has created. We thank you, Almighty God, for the 37,000 people that live in Liechtenstein. Each one of them you know, you care about, and you love. We thank you for the rich Christian history in that country. But, oh Lord, we intercede today for the people of Liechtenstein that there would be a revival in this land. Father God, they live in the midst of beauty. They live in financial security. We pray, Almighty God, that they would not just look to the things around them as their security, but they would look to you, Almighty God. We pray, Lord, for the leaders of the country, for the Prince of Liechtenstein, that his heart would be open to you and he would lead his people in a way that would direct them towards you. Not just the security of building up their wealth or where they live or the protection that they seem to have in the world, but Almighty God, that their hearts would cry out to you, that they would fall on your knees. And Lord, we pray today for revival in the land of Liechtenstein. We ask, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, that you would rise up your spirit in this land, that their lives would not only be changed, Lord, but they would be moved to action, that Liechtenstein could be a country that sends out missionaries around the world, that declares your name and proclaims who you are. Father, we ask for big things. We ask for change. We ask that your spirit would sweep across that land from the highest mountain to the lowest plain. Father, we pray for the churches in Liechtenstein. We pray that the pastors and leaders would sense you, that they would be deeply moved by your word and they would speak your truth to the people. They would not speak a watered-down gospel, but they would speak words that are true and deep and penetrating. Father God, we ask that you would move in this country, that they would see you, acknowledge you, and that your name would be glorified the people would know that what Liechtenstein stands for is a people who are faithfully following after you, a people who are calling on your name. In Jesus' name, amen.